Hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Simply Cyber, where we bring you insights from the brightest minds in the cybersecurity industry. And today we have special guest, Maxime Lamont Broussard, the founder and CEO of Lima Charlie, with a background that includes developing cyber defense technologies for the Canadian intelligence apparatus and founding Chronicle Security at Google X. Maxime is a true pioneer in the field. In this interview, Maxime shares how Lima Charlie's SecOps cloud platform is revolutionizing security operations in the cloud era. We'll explore the unique capabilities of Lima Charlie from endpoint security to telemetry retention and how these features come together to offer unmatched flexibility and scalability. Plus, Maxime gives us a glimpse into the future of SecOps and how Lima Charlie is staying ahead of the curve to protect orgs like yours from evolving threats. So whether you're a cybersecurity professional looking to enhance your security posture, or you're just curious about the future of cloud-based security, this conversation is literally jam-packed with valuable insights that you won't want to miss. So without further ado, let's dive into my interview with Maxime de Montbrizard. So Lima Charlie, it's taking a really different kind of approach to building uh, SecOps infrastructure. Essentially what we're doing is we're trying to make that very, very widely available and to deliver it in a way that people can customize and adapt to what they want to do. More importantly, even is that they can build on top of it, right? So putting all these things together, we're essentially building a cloud provider, but instead of being a cloud provider for IT, we're doing security operations capabilities. So like EDR or external, you know, telemetry ingestion and automation, all these things that are kind of really core to doing anything in security operations. How does Lima Charlie specifically address the growing complexity of security operations? Yeah, so it's really quite simple. Because our approach is, you know, a set of Lego blocks, right? Our approach is not kind of this this black box that you can't really do anything. And so either it protects you or it doesn't, and you don't know which one it is. The approach that we're taking means that you're always in control and you have the ability to adapt very quickly, both to the threats and the new type of exposure in the cloud, but also to your own environment. Sometimes there are things that pop up and you need to do things that worked for you and doesn't work for anybody else on earth. You need to have, the, to have that control and the ability to do that. What sets Lima Charlie apart from its competitors? So the way that we differentiate ourselves is really both a, a question of technology and a question of, of process in a way. So on the technology side of things, everything that we do, we offer, sometimes we talk about it as a primitive or as a, a core capability. And what it means is, again, it's it's the Lego blocks. And so, for example, that endpoint, you know, uh, like the EDR, really you could kind of call it agent. And you have a lot of flexibility how you use that agent, what you connect it into. And so at a high level, we end up having in Lima Charlie kind of a high level pipeline where we get, you know, telemetry in from endpoints, from other EDRs, from cloud platform, from, you know, on-prem logs, anywhere at all. And then we have our core capabilities like automation, long-term retention, data routing and optimization, all within that space. The last way that we kind of differentiate this is the process that we're doing it. So with Lima Charlie, it's never, you know, you call up, you send an email, and then a week later you get a salesperson reaching back and, you know, this kind of long dance to eventually get through a three-year contract. We're taking the cloud approach, right? The, the, the cloud provider approach. So you get whatever you want, whenever you want it, at whatever scale you want it. Can you provide specific examples of how Lima Charlie's platform caters with customers of varying sizes? Absolutely. We, we cater to all kinds of different customers. Because our approach is very generic, right? And it's the Lego blocks. It means that we help, generally speaking, just cybersecurity professionals that are trying to do something. So on one hand, we will have a lot of service providers building, you know, their whole program around us. And because we're infrastructure, we're neutral. So we're just partners with all of those folks and they can add their own value. But on the other end of the spectrum, we work with product companies that are building entirely new cybersecurity products. And what we do there is we just help them to get to market faster without having them being forced into, you know, very large uh, contracts with single vendors and all of the, the friction that comes with that. How does Lima Charlie stay ahead of the curve? So it's quite simple. We take uh, this generic approach, which means also being able to connect things into Lima Charlie. For us, the integrations isn't a question of we have one partnership with this one vendor. Integration means we support all of the generic mechanisms of security and IT so that 
people can bring in a lot of the things that they that they use in other products, but also threat intelligence, automation. And so it's by by doing this kind of very drastic integ integration capability that people will end up being able to build things that we never thought about for threats that we'd never heard about before. How can you help professionals to empower their posture? So we can do many things for different people, for, for cybersecurity professionals. And so, right, this, this Lego block approach means that we are able to help folks sometimes that want to deploy very quickly, maybe during an IR, thousands of endpoints to do EDR type of, of, uh, of actions. But we also help people very often uh, gain operation, uh, you know, operations capabilities on other types of logs. Maybe it's firewall logs or one password, integrate all these things together. So I think the, the, the takeaway here is we're not a single product, right? Or like one vendor around one product that does this, this one thing. We just are able to help people with their use cases just get things done very quickly. Can you share a story where Lima Charlie really shines? So in fact, it, it kind of refers to the, you know, the, the services and the products as sort of the big examples that we have. So on the services side, um, we've helped companies like uh, Recon and Fosac that have migrated a big part of their stack, not everything, right? Like we're not a player that believes we are the end all be all, but by starting to leverage various pieces of Lima Charlie, they were able to optimize their, their operations drastically and quite candidly, we reduced their bill by a huge amount uh, around data lake and around agent and complexity and maintenance. And then on the other side around uh, products, so we've helped uh, Blumira uh, to, uh, to play in a new kind of product category they wanted to expand into the XDR space. And there the value is very different for them. We helped them build their product from zero to GA, you know, all the way to production in five months. So if you think about that, if you're a product builder, you know that historically, you know, you would have had to raise $5 million and spend a year building a team to all this friction. And now it's kind of like getting virtual machines on AWS. Why would you do anything else? All right, that concludes the discussion with Maxime. I hope you found this deep dive into Lima Charlie SecOps Cloud Platform as informative and as inspiring as I did. It's clear that with the right tools and the right approach, we can tackle even the most complex security challenges in the cloud era. If you did enjoy the interview, hit that like button, hit subscribe for more expert insights and practical advice. And as always, I encourage you to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I'd love to continue the conversation. Thanks for tuning in and remember, until next time, stay secure.